As promised on the last part of the video concerning the preamp, I'm going to play you a file from the YouTube friendly copyright library. Uh, no, well, apologies for the music, but it'll give you an idea. I have to say again, you will be hearing the result after YouTube has messed with it, so try and listen to it um, in 720p. That's the video, of course, not the sound. It will give you the best idea. Now, what I'm going to do is to take the file, which is 320 kilobits, which is the best you can get from YouTube, and I'll feed it into the DAC that's included in the preamp, which I've described previously. It'll come out of the preamp into the main power amplifier, which uses the L12 modules. And I'm going to record this from the speaker outputs, so you'll hear the whole system. Now, what I can't do is record line level, oh well, speaker terminal level, directly into the camera. It just overloads it and it's, well, can't do it. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is to take the output of the amplifier via a 10 to 1 attenuator and feed that into the computer and save it as a WAV file, which is the best you can save or the best I can save. And then I will sync it with the visuals of the magic eyes, the best I can, so apologies if it's not quite in sync, um, but it will give you an indication of how the magic eyes look when they're um, receiving the signal, and it will give you a recording of the quality that um, you can get. Now. I know it's a silly test because you'll be listening to your own headphones or speakers after uh, YouTube has compressed it horribly. But at least it will give you a guide. Don't forget to, to view it on the highest level that you can because the sound does degrade the lower the picture quality gets. I will upload this at 720 because that's... Um, uh, as good as it needs to be. The difference between that and, and full HD is, is fairly small. So enjoy, but take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> 